Welcome back to another Torch review. I have the Claris XT2CR in for testing, and this was sent in for review via the 9s B and T. On the side, we just scan through the details quickly. 1600 lumens output, range of around about 240 meters. Also pay attention to the candela rating, which is there. That's around about mid-level for a torch of this type. On the back, we'll scan over some of the features. You can see we have four power levels included and two strobe modes. I'd like to see an extra power level on these Claris torches, perhaps we'll come on to that later. And look over the body design, very nice design as you'd expect from Claris. I've put the specs on the screen. It's quite a compact torch for a tactical style torch. You can see that they've added a single LED on the side as the indicator there for the power levels. That's because you don't have a switch on the side. You have the two on the base cap. Micro USB port That's quite deep, the flap on that. So when that's put in, it doesn't come out easily. So you shouldn't have any concerns about the flap coming open by accident. Stainless steel bezel. This can be unscrewed and removed. It has a matte effect. It looks like it's sandblasted. So it'd be interesting to see if they bring out some accessories that you can screw into that. Looking at the LED, we have a fairly deep and smooth reflector, XHP35HD. It's one of the newer LEDs out and is capable of a higher output than some of the previous ones. Now with the clip on this, you can take it off. It's quite secure, but you, there's no real advantage to reversing it. So generally, I'd either just leave it on there or if you don't like a clip, just pull it off. Never had a problem with the Claris torch with the clips, they always stay in place. Overall, the body design is quite nice. You can see the point there for attaching the wrist strap. Anti-roll as well with the flat sections on the base cap and near the head. We'll just unscrew this. As you'd expect, we have square cut threads. And there is the base cap with the contact points. Take out the protector on the battery. This is a 3600 milliamps an hour. That's the highest you can get for a 18650 cell. We'll do a test on that later on to see what the actual capacity is. They're usually a touch under that. You also notice the inner tubing there. You have two contact points. So if you ever had any problems with a Claris torch on that, those contacts, then you need to just give them a quick clean. I had to on the GT at one time because it wasn't contacting. I put too much uh, silicone grease spring on the top. Zooming in just to show you that inner tube section. So what I did was just clean that, keep it clean, and you shouldn't have any problems. Just be careful with the silicone grease that you don't, if when you grease it up again, you don't go over the top with it. It's basically the same design as the GT and S, and this time we can actually tail stand the torch fairly successfully, and I couldn't do that on the other Claris torches that I had because they tend to wobble over. Obviously with the crannulated bezel, you'll be able to see if you've left the torch on. Just a quick scan through the user manual. If you want to pause this to have a look at anything, do so. Just go through the specs in a bit more depth. And the user operation is pretty straightforward. It's actually much more simple than it appears, particularly with the um, switching between the tactical and outdoor settings because you have two for this particular torch. So you can actually customize the torch to how you want it to perform as such. So we're going to a practical demonstration now just to show you the different power levels and the different modes. I'm in the tactical mode now and the torch should ship, ship in this manner. So instant access to strobe on the paddle switch. The main switch gives you the momentary on. And then you can cycle through. You have three power levels on this mode. Now if you push and hold the strobe mode in, it will just lock into the strobe mode after a few seconds so you can keep the strobe mode going. And then just click out. You can go back to your normal power levels from that. Now if you want to switch between the two modes, switching to the outdoor mode now, you need to Push the paddle switch in for about 10 seconds and then a single press on the main switch. You'll see it glow here, green and red. One press on the main switch and it's switched over. It does take a bit longer than the other Claris torches because we have two switches instead of three. So we have four power levels on this one. 
is an access to a low mode and turbo. You still have your momentary on as well. Normally for me, I'd leave it in the outdoor mode because I like instant access to the highest and lowest output, but you have a choice with this and there's absolutely nothing wrong in that. That is a good feature to have. And it's been quite popular on the Claris. Tactical Torch is one of the reasons people generally seem to like them quite a bit. Now to access the SOS, you need to power it on and hold the switch down and that will take you into that. So you do have one strobe mode in the outdoor mode, but if you want the rapid fire strobe, you'll need to be into the tactical mode, but that could come in handy. Perhaps you're in a slightly dodgy area and you might need to get access to that quite quickly. I'm pretty happy with the design on this and the switch, the dual switch, but if there's any confusion, I've listed out the modes here from the Claris website on the screen so you'll be able to just pause that and have a look it's pretty straightforward the only thing i slightly miss is the tactical ring um, i'm used to that from the other torches that i've looked at but it's something that i got used to after a while I particularly like the fact that you do have the two switches we'll just show you the extras now you get a mini usb plug-in led light the micro usb cable is included too and you have a spare o-ring and the standard Clara strap, which is pretty similar to the other makers, just with their own particular brand. Bit of stretch on that too. Low profile adjuster. Now, in case you want to use other cells, this is an INR rechargeable LG hydrain cell. And because you have the two springs, there's no problems at all using that. Works perfectly fine. You'll be able to get the highest power output on this torch as well. Just make sure you don't over discharge the cells. Now it has a special circuitry where it will be able to detect the power of the cell, the actual maximum drain, so it won't trip lower powered 18650 cells. Just a quick comparison with the KR20 from Rofus, which was one of the smallest tactical torches. You'll see the Claris is a touch longer, even if you unscrew the bezel, but it's still pretty compact for a tactical torch, particularly in the girth, which is a fair bit less than most tactical torches. You usually have an enlarged head on that particular type of design. Let's just show you the three power levels, or rather four, because the red flashes when it's below 10%, and that is a very nice feature. Something I'd like to see on more torches. Onto the capacity test, around about 3,500 milliamps an hour, which is pretty much in line with the what you normally get with these cells, are a bit higher than the 3,400. Charging speeds just under one amp. That's the best speed that I got with the torch. And when it's finished, it shuts off, terminates 4.21, and it turns to green. So you're going to be looking at about over four hour charge from flat. No problem with the water resistance test. And what I'm going to do now is show a number of torches. I start with the TR20 from Rofus, which is a mixed beam torch. I also tested lower capacity 18650s and included that too. And I'll come back with a conclusion at the end of the beam shots. I love the gold And I've been moving on Just like the storm And I've been getting ready And I've been getting ready Why should we be ready? If I knew the light That's what you
dead beat bonfire Rain clouds and nightmares and twinkling star Hell no, I'm not coming back Hell no, I'm not coming back The past is gone and the future's unknown God give me freedom Hello, I'm not coming few thoughts on the Claris. I think it's an interesting addition to the range. It's slightly different to the other models that they have, the GT and S. The GT is in particular very popular, but this is more affordable. You lose one side switch, but you still have the two tactical switches. And there's quite a lot that I like about this. They've kept in the multi-level battery indicator. You can still switch between the outdoor and tactical modes too. And it's a pretty impressive output. You'll see from the beam shots that it increased and decreased depending on the temperature. So I'm really conditions you'll be able to get longer run times at the higher power settings saying that there's a couple of downers for me the lack of moonlight mode is something I would like to see included um, Claris don't seem to be doing that on many of their torches there's also a bit of PWM and it does take a while to switch between the tactical and outdoor settings perhaps would have made it a bit quicker to do that but overall it's a very nice torch and probably worth looking at if you want something a bit more compact in the tactical style. So thanks for watching the video and don't forget to check out some of my other reviews and I will see you very shortly in my next video review.